Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. Alright, so the reason why I'm making a part two to this video, uh, I actually wanted to make a whole new video after I put this video, uh, the original video up, the first tutorial. I realized uh, I had a few flaws in the, the tutorial process. Um, nothing that was crucial or critical to the design or finishing the ship. Uh, but enough where I've got a lot of PMs about the same thing. Uh, so it's what this uh, first half of this video is going to cover is uh, the majority of the problems uh, that people stumbled across while trying to make this ship and couldn't finish. So I've taken probably about the top three or four problems that, that people have, and I'm going to refine it a little bit and maybe try to explain it a little bit better uh, so those who have tried it and failed uh, can maybe hopefully get through this ship because uh, it's a pretty fun build and uh, there's a lot of people that uh, completed this build with no problem um, there's people doing it on the Xbox now and holy shit my hat is off to you guys uh, especially you know collecting all your materials and trying to put this thing together no way in hell I could do it uh, good job guys I also had some questions on decorating the ship uh, I never really finished it in the tutorial and actually I never really finished it afterwards uh, I built a final design that we used on our first server I uh, called it the SS Jag and we put a brig on it and that's where we jailed people and I'll show you that a little later on in this tutorial uh, and go over some basic decorating uh, designs and tips uh, nothing you know real elaborate I'm not a big interior designer guys I, I'm just not usually I just build it and a lot of my buildings are empty but the ship does have a few things on it that I will show you and then uh, finally there will be a short tutorial within this tutorial at the end on how to do the dragon head that I put on the SS Jag. I've had a lot of requests for that. That was just something I threw on at the last minute and kind of laughed at and I was like, man, that'll work. Uh, I didn't think it was a big deal, but apparently there's a lot of you out there that uh, that want a tutorial on it. So at the end of this tutorial, uh, we'll go ahead and go over that real quick. So let's fly on over here and let's start covering some of these problems. All right, so one of the most popular problems or things that people have run into is the overall length of the ship. Well, how long is it, Jag? Is it 60 blocks? Is it 63 blocks? Is it 65 blocks? Uh, in the tutorial, I actually said it was 60 blocks long. Um, I think it's 61. It, it, it doesn't really matter, guys. You can make it 61, 63, 62. As long as you start on the first block and lay your glowstone and then count four blocks in between every one and then lay another piece of glowstone. And then four and then a piece of glowstone. And then four and then a piece of glowstone all the way to the end. And it's either 60 or 61, I can't remember. It should be 60, but I've had people say, no, no, it's 61 or 61. Okay, it, it doesn't matter. The very last pillar, which is your 13th one, is as long as you follow that all the way to the end and get to this very last one. This is the, this is the critical one on the whole ship. Uh, the, these other ones, you can have 12 pillars, 11 pillars, it doesn't matter. That's just the length of your ship. This one here is what the whole nose revolves around, this center piece. So if you were just building circles on the ground, this is your center right there. So that's how we get the radiuses off of uh, this piece of glowstone right here. Uh, the first radius was a radius of 9. And how we got that, like I said, we added two more rows of 7 blocks to the end of the ship past the center piece. And then five more in front of that. And you can't see that when there's water underneath there. But anyways, it looks just like this. So you got two rows of seven and then f uh, a, a row of five blocks. That is actually a seven diameter circle uh, if you laid that out on the ground. So the next one out is a radius of nine. And how we got that is seven plus two more blocks is nine. And we're going by this block here, which is on the center line. And then this block here, which is on the center line. And that's where we get the radius of 9. Then it jumps to 13, and I had a lot of questions. Well, what happened to 11? 11 is here. I remember in the video I said if you go out, you don't go up. So there was four, uh, five blocks, no, four blocks that were set right here that would connect to this block right there. So 11 and actually 15, which is right here, we, it, it skips over to 13, 17. This right here is 15. It did the same thing. If it goes out... It doesn't go up and then it tucks in behind these will actually be blue blocks and I didn't change the colors because I wanted it to stand out pretty good against everything else um, that's where that goes and on the outside of the ship those are the four blocks that you add one because there's holes underneath here uh, with with the matching up of the 17 and the 15 I believe it is 
Um, either way, it doesn't matter, you know, what lines up with what as far as the number wise. Uh, is what matters is, is you follow 9, 13, here's your 11, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, and then three 21s, a 23, and then a 25. The 25 is the same thing we use for the ribs, guys, and it's the same thing that we use for this nose piece up here. That's where we're going to. And how you get there, again, is right off of this last set of five blocks, you got to go up one block and, and out one block. And that's all you're doing. You're going out and up, out and up, all the way up to the very top. And once you get up right here, this is where you get your centerpiece here. This block here will be determined because of the angle that starts down here. And then when you finish your 25 out here, all you have to do is connect this corner with the very first corner of your last ribs, or your last structure of the rib. That's, that's the critical part of the ship. Like, so the rest of the stuff you can fudge a little bit. I had an extra block right here, this blue block. Um, I, I had five blocks in between the glowstone instead of four. So that's where my numbers got kind of mixed up on the tutorial. Like I said, that doesn't matter. You could take that out and move this, this whole piece back one, and this is the important part right here. So that should cover pretty much how to do the nose section. And we'll, go, we'll look at it one more time. There's your colors. And then also, too, here's the numbers that you use. These are all 25s all the way up, 23s, 21s. 19, 17, 15 is straight across, and then also 11 is straight across. And that's pretty much how it's put together. And all you got to do is just run them straight back into this last rib. If you finished right here, if your uh, ship is already skinned at this point and you're doing the nose, then you're going to just finish the blocks right into this last rib. If not, then just continue them through. It'll make it easier for you, and then you can finish skinning, uh, skinning the ship off. And we'll fly over here, and you can take a look at it. As you can see, uh, it just it moves in one block on each on each one as it goes back. It basically repeats the staircase pattern that you create in the middle, and it just moves it out one block and down one block. So there it is. There's your steps. One, 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 and then same thing here, all the way down. And then if you look at the side of the ship, right here it goes up, and then same thing. So anyways, that should cover a lot of the building technical parts to the ship. I hope that's enough to get the people that had attempted this and failed, and those were the reasons why. I hope that really helps the, them people get going and try this again, because this is a really fun build, and there's a lot of people that are really getting through this and having a good time with it, and I want you know everybody to have that, that same opportunity. So if there's any more questions or anything else you guys need, just uh, throw a PM to me or uh, put something in the comment section, and I'll try to answer it and keep helping like I've been doing, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the decorating. All right, so here's the final pirate ship design. Uh, I think I said it already, but I'm not real big on interior design, but I did put a couple things on here that we're going to look at. And uh, one of the things is the brig. And then also, too, um, just put some windows up here. Uh, these down here are the dispensers that have the, uh, the snowballs in them. And that was my snowball launchers. And I've got a switch underneath that fires all these at the same time, but for some reason when I threw this in MC Edit uh, into my new world, uh, the dispensers got flipped around, so if I fire it, they'll actually just fire upon each other. And that's where those are. Uh, there is two, three, there's four blocks in between each one. And if you start right here in the middle, uh, I've got three, three ladders going down. You can put a dock over here. Uh, and then your your dispensers go that way. They're on the second and the third deck, I believe. And we'll take a look at that here in just a minute. Uh, as far as the uh, the top of the deck, uh, I cut a, a center section out that goes down to your main floors, and just surrounded it with some uh, some fence posts and some uh, torches. Obviously, put some ladders up the back side of the the main masts, and then your crow's nest. Uh, pretty simple. Nothing you know real complicated here. Um, I think an uh, extra flag that, that wasn't in the tutorial. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's see what else we got. Oh, the main cabin, um, which is back there. We'll look at that here in a minute. Uh, underneath here, uh, I split the room in half, or this hallway or whatever it was, or all this space, and I put two rooms off to each side. Again, I, I didn't finish it. There should be probably beds and stuff in here. 
um, got some windows for some lighting and then I had a main uh, room up here this could be like a, an eating area of some sort you could put some big dining tables and some chairs up here and then up to the nose of the ship just start filling everything in with wood until you get uh, basically the the path or the hallway that that you desire that's all I did all behind here is either empty or it's filled in with wood I just started throwing blocks and built my wall and then either filled in behind it or left it uh, and this is the main centerpiece and then I just wrapped around that and then went down uh, we'll take a look at that uh, when we come back up the other side uh, but while we're up here on the main deck uh, let's fly up here there's your middle section and back here this was kind of like uh, where you steer the ship at and of course we don't have no wheels or anything so uh, I just threw a fence post there in the middle and that's what you steer this bad boy with uh, kind of kind of lame but that's that's the best we can come up with and we'll go downstairs uh, single wide path uh, just repeated using the wood and some half steps of wood and then the second uh, floor again is pretty much unfinished just a couple rooms um, I don't know what the fuck this is a narrow room here behind this wall is where the uh, the snowball launchers are and I don't know, I'll try to bust it away where you can see it there's the redstone and there's the repeaters going to the the snowball launchers and they're all wired up so that they all fire at the same time and I had a hot wire on the uh, the server our old server he gave me a hand uh, actually putting that together that's what I wanted and I didn't know how to run the redstone so that he, he went ahead and wired it up for me and put it all in one switch so that was pretty cool of him uh, and then another room there and this is the control room for the cannons you just throw the switch and they all fire out uh, nothing re really fancy again here just some glowstone just to light it up eventually I was gonna cut this into some rooms just never got back to it uh, downstairs uh, the brig is back here behind us this is pretty much like the main desk uh, the check-in area uh, we had like NPCs on our uh, on our server and we had like uh, I don't know it's like women pirates <laughs> it was pretty funny uh, they said funny things when you walked up to them but anyways this would be like the receiving area um, you know for visitation and then the hallway same thing as it was above but I just lined it up with fence posts and put in a door for the brig and this is where we jailed everybody uh, there was four four main cells and they're like five by five or something like that and I didn't put doors on them because we had world guard so uh, basically if they you know if this was all protected if they punched this out it would just come right back uh, so there's no sense to have a door we use teleports to uh, bring them in and out um, for those who you know not real familiar with server stuff um, this is what they saw when they were standing uh, behind the, uh, the the bars here so put some signs up like I said this is Sorry, it's not really exciting, guys. It just I, I never really finished this off like I wanted to or had planned to, uh, and just haven't had time to come back to the pirate ship. Uh, I've always meant to. Just there's so many things around my channel right now. Um, I just I, I never got back to the poor thing. Uh, this is the bottom deck. Uh, down here you could put some beds. This could be the cabin area for the cabin boys to. Uh, I'm gonna leave that one alone. I've already went through this once and uh, my audio was screwed up and uh, yeah, I, no, just we're gonna leave that alone. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna go up another floor, uh, look at things again. That's pretty much the pirate ship, guys. As far as decorating it goes, uh, there, oh, there's the plank. I forgot about the plank. Um, that's just three blocks and then two more out here and some half steps. So. And, oh, oh shit 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 I almost forgot this this was my area back here uh, the main cabin or the the captain's quarters uh, some diamond block it's it's pimped out man <laughs> I mean we I, I pimped the hell out of it just uh, for something different to do I got a fish tank here uh, I put a spa or a sauna or wait, not a sauna fucking spa I had it right the first time uh, here in the corner and again I had like three pirate ship girls in the corner and they said like horny shit <laughs> it was it was funny I just you know like to bring that back on our new server but they're kind of a pain in the ass uh, and then here's the bed of course and a glass I think this was supposed to be like a showcase of some sort and I made like a wash station to wash your dick off after having dirty sex <laughs> I'm gonna catch hell on that one uh, I get some comments every once in a while about my bad my my bad mouth um, I'm that's just the way I am guys you know a lot most of you love it 
<laughs> a couple of you don't. I'm sorry. Uh, SS Jag, that was in diamond. And there, there's the rudder I put on it, and that's kind of lame as hell. Um, it's not really... <laughs> Not a lot of design going into that one. <laughs> so, and then the outside of the ship, again, I uh, trimmed out with uh, some fence posts. And that's uh, that's basically all I can give you on designs, guys. Uh, I'm not an interior designer. Um, just use your imaginations. Uh, use, you know, the blocks that you have and think piratey when you, uh, when you put this together. I hope that helps. <laughs> uh, anyways, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to look at the dragon head real quick while we're here. We're going to get ready to slip into that tutorial here in just a second. Uh, this is the one that I just kind of, uh, I wanted a big, huge dragon or a big snake head coming off the front, and I just, I'm not real good with organics. Organic building is is not right there at the top of my list of things that I do. Uh, so this took quite a while to throw together, and it was half-assed, and never really thought anything more about it until I started getting PMs. Dude, I want the dragon head. I want a tutorial on it. Uh, like I said, I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but people really like this for some reason. So I'm going to show you how to uh, build this the best that I can. Uh, we'll jump back to the uh, the other world here in just a second. I just want to show you how this ties in because this part here, I can't really explain to you how to do this. You're going to have to kind of fudge this in because I basically cut it off right about uh, right about there. Um, whoops, shit. So this down in here is probably about two rows on each side of the center piece and then just build it out till it looks like his neck uh, I, I can't teach that I'm sorry guys uh, but let's go over and jump over back to the other world and I'll show you how to build the, the head part anyways alright so here's the dragon head and it's all fanciness uh, it is and I've got my reach on so we can see the blocks real good and I use Zom's mod pack for that and uh, also single player commands those uh, got a lot of questions on that too one, two, three, four, five, six. You're gonna fucking snow, really, asshole? Seriously? Seriously? <sighs> Alright, so it's six blocks high, and then it's uh, seven blocks across here, and then two rows of five, and then a row of three. So that's what we've got here. We've got seven, five, five, three, and then two at the bottom. That's the first piece. And then take either your wood planks or in my case I used this wood here and I put two rows on top alright and then the main piece down the middle is three wide and one two three four five six seven alright so we go three wide either with your planks or the wood two three four five whoops six oops where am I three six seven okay seven and then I had two planks in the middle something like that and this can be glowstone the only reason I use glowstone is for the lighting at the front of the ship and then some fence posts to trim that part out and the reason this is here is this was for the front sail uh, you'll have to redesign that to kind of connect into the back of his head uh, that was just some kind of a mounting structure that goes on the back uh, the next two pieces I'll, I guess I'll show you is uh, one uh, row of seven and a row of five one, two three four five uh, six seven two three four five and that should line up with that and it doesn't one two three four five six okay it's eight I'm sorry it's eight guys I built this over seven months ago and uh, it's kinda hard to remember and I'm actually having to look at this while I'm teaching you how to do this um, so if I screw it up you're getting a uh, pretty up close and personal look at it um, let's switch texture packs all right there we go now we can see it a little bit better um, like so that mine uh, minecraft for kids texture pack is really cool uh, but some of the textures in it run together uh, so anyways back to where we was uh, all right the head the head the head the head uh, the middle piece uh, just run a couple blocks up the middle this is going to be where the head attaches to it so we just kind of make an L pattern there and whoops we don't need this block right there if you look we got three blocks coming off there one two three and then we've got one two three if we just look at just the the corner ones here there's two 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 and two so there's six of those one two three four five six so that's what we're going to build first and there's uh, one, two, 
one, two. And I'm leaving this behind because we're, that, that just gets filled in anyways. And then one, two, two. And we got one, two, three, four, five. We need one more. And then we'll just go ahead and fill in this, uh, this part here. Alright, and that puts us right here. Two, two. The next part is one, one, two. So the one, one, two. And we'll look at it again. One, one, and then two. And that's the bottom part right before his mouth. And there's four above that. One, two, three, four. That's the bottom part of his mouth. And then come back to the third block and go up one. And then his top mouth comes out. There's four blocks here. And we'll look at it again. All right. So now we have three blocks. Go up one block. And you can just fill this in like that because this is his head, so it's solid. So you're going to have three blocks exposed and then a piece here. And then three more blocks across the top. One here and then two there. So and then just fill that in. Whoops, not back there. All right, now we need his eyeball, which is right there. All right, and then you can put torches on his nose or whatever. Uh, the next part, uh, just go ahead and fill right behind his head and go up one. And then we're going to come out two on each side. So you got two here and then two here. So we're going to go one, two, one, two, and it is three deep down the middle. One, two, all right, and then we've got these two pieces here for like his ears or whatever they are, and then the glowstone, three pieces of that on each side, and a lot of this was just for lighting, I just I just wanted it for lighting, uh, and it ended up looking, looking pretty good, so, all right, that's that's pretty much the headpiece and then down the back part of his neck uh, if we look right here that's right here we're gonna come down two pieces and let's go over here so we can watch here here and there so does that look right this this is that one and then there's two here and then to mount your flag you want to go back up three one two, three, and that's three long, there's three, and a block of six, and then a block of four, there's your four block, one, two, three, four, and then you can just start filling this in. I hope this is helping guys, this, uh, this is the best I can, I can do with this, uh, is just kind of look at it and try to build it with you, and then there was the two pieces for that. And then I have uh, the rest is whatever you're using for your sails. All right, now the next piece, or the next pieces, are this right here. And this is just for blending purposes. Uh, we're going to build this bottom piece first. Uh, so we've got two, three, three. And so we leave the little L on the bottom. Okay, and we're going to start right here. Two, three. Coming off this block right here, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's right, and then two, and then three off of this block, one, two, three, so we don't need that one, and then we've got three again, and you can just fill this in as you go because that's going to get covered up again, you got three, and then two more here, and then one, and then three, and we'll fill that in, and then two, and then an L pattern, let's go up a little bit, that's here, and then one right there, okay, and then we'll just bring that back. 
and you do the same thing on the other side. I'm only going to do one side for you. And the next one, we're going to go one and two, one and two, and then three, and then four, and then I'll run you pretty much up underneath there. And it's probably not exact. I'm, I'm bouncing back and forth here a little bit. And this has two underneath here. And all this is blending. You're going to do the same thing when you connect it to the ship. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a couple pieces up here. Uh, let's see. Right there starting at the wood. There's an L shape. So we can go on the back side of that wood. Uh, whoops. There like that. And then we go forward. God, I'm getting confused now, guys. All right, there's so three pieces there. And then you're going to go four forward from that. So one, let's get rid of those because those aren't there. Those actually aren't there. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And there's a block right there, I guess. And then we'll put a couple there. Uh, I don't know. I'll just let you guys look at it and figure that shit out because I'm getting kind of confused now and I don't want this tutorial to go on too long. Uh, like I said, it's an organic build. You're just, you're just blending it in is all you're doing. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's, that's pretty much my Dragon Head tutorial. It sucked ass. It's probably one of the worst tutorials I've ever fucking done. Uh, but I hope I've got enough there where you at least got the head part and you can blend this this back part into the ship. Uh, you've, you've got the main rails here. And this here, you just have to fudge down into the ship. Uh, again, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope that's okay for you. All right, guys, so that's the end of part two of the pirate ship tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.